Until when will we continue allowing cruelty to take the lives of innocent beings? Thirteen puppies were poisoned in Popeyan. We cannot remain silent. The joy of thirteen puppies was extinguished in Popeyan. An act of barbarism poisoned twenty of these defenseless beings. We demand justice. Attention, animal abuse case in Popeyan, twenty puppies poisoned, thirteen of which died. Don't forget to follow us on stories and events. Thank you. The dawn of Popeyan was shrouded in mourning last April 17th, when human cruelty claimed the lives of 13 defenseless puppies. In the Lane District, north of the city, an act of barbarism poisoned 20 of these innocent beings, leaving seven others in critical condition. The community, with broken hearts, united in a cry for justice. The lamentations for these furry life companions resounded strongly, demanding that the weight of the law fall upon those responsible for this vile crime. The images of the little animals, lifeless on the ground, are a heartbreaking reminder of the capacity for evil that resides in some hearts. However, amid the darkness, hope also shines. The authorities, armed with videos as irrefutable evidence, tirelessly seek the perpetrators. The authorities have in their possession a video showing the two men who would be responsible for this cruel act against the animals. The mayor of Popeyan, Juan Carlos Munoz, did not hesitate to raise his voice against this atrocious act. He offered a reward of 5 million pesos for anyone who provides information leading to the capture of the heartless individuals who took the lives of these puppies. Un saludo desde Bogotá. Estamos tristes, el mundo animalista en Popayán, por el acto criminal que se ha terminado con la vida de perritos en la ciudad. Hoy eh, lamentamos este hecho y damos una recompensa de hasta 5 millones de pesos para las personas que nos den información importante que conlleve a la captura de estas personas que han cometido este acto criminal en la ciudad de Popayán. The law, in its righteous indignation, also rises as a protective shield for animals. Exemplary sanctions, which include everything from imprisonment to disqualification from owning animals, await those who engage in acts of animal abuse. The tragedy of Popeyan calls us to a deep reflection. We cannot allow cruelty to prevail. It is our duty, as a society, to protect animals, ensure their well-being, and demand justice when they are victims of violence. Let us make this unfortunate event a turning point. Let us unite in the fight against animal abuse and build a world where respect and compassion are the norm. Let us remember these 13 furry little angels and honor their memory by raising our voices for all the animals that suffer in silence. Together we can build a more compassionate and just world for all living beings. What does Colombian law say about animal abuse? In Colombia, animal abuse is classified as a crime under Law 1774-2016. This law amended the civil code and establishes that animals should not be considered things, but sentient beings. The law aims to prevent, punish and eradicate violence against animals, promoting their well-being through protection against suffering and pain, especially caused by humans. Don't forget to follow us on stories and events. Thank you.